Hello, I'm Dr. Isbell. Welcome to Analytical Decision Making. This is a course in how to think critically about numbers and how to use numbers to solve problems. This is an extremely valuable skill set to possess regardless of what business you're in or what position you hold. Don't let the title of the course or the course description intimidate you. I'm not going to try to turn you into a mathematician, but you really need to understand something about the coming changes in the world of business. We've long known that those who have strong quantitative skills are, all else equal, more valuable to employers. And there are indications that these skills are becoming even more valuable. You've probably heard the buzzwords, data mining, data analytics, big data, data visualization. Some of the world's best known organizations like Google, Amazon, U.S. government, collect massive amounts of data. And they're analyzing that data. In fact, some people say that Google isn't really a search engine company, it's a data analysis company. You've likely seen most of the material we'll be studying for this class in a previous course. You just didn't look at it quite the same way that you'll be doing here. To give you a hint, you'll be doing more writing for this course than calculating, and the calculations will be done as projects. We'll be looking a lot at the applied field of mathematics known as statistics. As we move through the course, I want you to think about numbers, or data, as something generated by a process. And it is the process that's important, not the numbers. We can't always observe the process generating the data, so we use the data to help reveal the process. In this way, the analysis of data is not an end in itself. It's just the first step. Once you understand the process, then you'll be better able to produce your product, map out an advertising campaign, forge new one-on-one -on -one relationships with customers, maybe even get your candidate elected. Hope you enjoy this course. I know that I enjoy teaching it.